Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. When I flew with Bowser for the first time, I had a million questions. Now that him and I have flown six times, I feel like I have some insight to share with you all. I really hope this helps someone and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Before we flew for the first time with my pug Bowser, I went and I took his carrier to the airport. I know that this isn't always feasible for some people, but it was my peace of mind to know that he could indeed get on the flight. Specifically, I looked at WestJet, Air Canada, and Flair. Each airline has its own restrictions and requirements. Specifically for WestJet, they don't have a weight limit, but they do have a kennel requirement size. Air Canada told me that he would not be able to board because his kennel and himself were 21 pounds and they have a weight limit of 20 pounds altogether. Lair has a weight limit as well, but it is 23 pounds, carrier and dog included, therefore Bowser was within these limits. Ultimately, we went with WestJet just in case Bowser gained a couple pounds. We'd be safe. Both carriers that I have used in the past are over their restriction limits. I'm speaking specifically to WestJet. Essentially what I've gathered is as long as you have a soft-sided carrier and not a hard-sided carrier, they will rarely ever measure it. I wanted Bowser to be comfortable and I felt that I needed to go with a taller carrier for that to happen and I knew the risks going in. Both carriers fit fine and we've never come into an issue except for the one time that I picked an aisle seat. Which brings me to my next tip, pick the window seat. The under dimensions of the window seat are a lot larger than the other two seats. Luckily, the flight attendant was able to move me to a row with no one. Otherwise, I'm not even sure if they would have let me fly. So don't make the same mistake, just pick the window seat. After ensuring his carrier was all good to go, I had to go through this travel checklist. First of all, most airlines ask you to call ahead of time to book your pet spa on the flight and pay any fees. WestJet was specifically $50. Then I talked to my vet and they prescribed some calming medication for Bowser for the flight and said he was good to fly. I packed all the essentials that I would need for him for travel. Of course, the essentials mean something different to everyone. For Bowser, I always bring the soft-sided travel bag, a dog water bottle, treats, his harness and his leash, puppy pads, and cleanup supplies. I also would recommend that when you're checking in at the front desk, which most airlines will make you do if you have a pet with you, that you put your dog in the carrier during check-in. This isn't a proven method, but for me, I've noticed that they don't ask any questions if they can see that your dog fits in there comfortably. Whereas I've seen people who they've had their dogs on a leash and the person makes them prove that the dog can fit in there and stand up and turn around if they think the dog is too big. So if you know that your pet will fit in there and be comfortable in there, I would do that ahead of time. Just because you want your check-in experience to go as flawlessly as possible, especially if you're using a carrier that is bigger than their requirements. Here Bowser is while we're getting ready to take off. He's always done really well on flights. I would talk to your veterinarian about any calming medication that you can get for your dog. I'd recommend avoiding layovers if you can, but if you can't, there are designated pee spots at every airport that we've been to, so you can take them to go pee before you board and right after you get off the plane. Both of the carries that we have used are in large and I'll link them down below. These are Bowser's measurements for reference. 
Everything will be linked in the description. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them below in the comment section. Thank you guys for all your continued support and we will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.